Hi there. This is Sunday, January 13, 2019. Day 13 of my hashtag 100 day project. It is 441 as I record and 39 degrees outside. Wow, if I just started recording a couple minutes earlier, they could be the same thing for a minute. <laughs> anyway, I'm uh, a little, a little um, dull today because I've had an afternoon nap. And on the one hand, I hope that doesn't re ruin my night's sleep. On the other hand, I didn't sleep all that well last night. No idea why. Just couldn't quite nod off for quite a while. But I did get up and get out to my Sunday morning meeting, which I enjoy so much. Did a little shopping, a little, a little erranding, and um, got home and felt a little nappy and took a nap. <laughs> I subscribed to um, a newsletter from the website wordsmith.org, a word a day. And throughout the week, one, two, three, four, five, yes, Monday through Friday, the author of this blog sends out an essay about a word that one may or may not have heard of before. It's always interesting, and I have learned new words from this newsletter. And then on the weekend, he does a kind of usually a summary or something, but today he wrote an essay about flower. Subject, Flower, 2003 to 2019. Flower was a gentle soul. We adopted her from a dog shelter when she was just a few months old. My daughter, Ananya, named her Flower after a character in a Bambi story. That day, as the puppy explored her new home, Ananya followed her everywhere, exclaiming, How cute! at every turn. I knew Flower had suffered a downgrade in her cuteness rating when I heard, Ooh! She had pooped right in the middle of the carpet in our living room. Had we gotten ourselves one of those stinky flowers? Flower led a busy schedule. She chased birds to make sure they knew their place. Trees, fence, but not any lower. She guarded the backyard from alien species such as squirrels. She also spent time in deep thoughts, lounging on the deck under the sun. All that, and she still found time to catch up on her fan mail. And there's a link with the phrase fan mail. I haven't clicked over to see it. A dog doesn't need much. A little food, a few pats, a treat or two, a walk, and they're the happiest creatures in the universe. No matter what corner of the house she was in, when she sensed I was going out, she'd come running up or down the stairs. For a time, I even suspected she had some kind of supernatural ability to find out when I was going for a walk, even though I had not put on my shoes or picked up her leash. I figured that when she died, if she heard the sound of keys jingling in my hand, she'd come back to life, ready for a walk. Ananya and I loved taking her to the off-leash dog area in the Marymore Park nearby. It's a doggy heaven, and also a heaven for people who love dogs. Dogs big and small, furry and shiny, black, white, brown, and so many other shades, all unique in their own way. Along the park runs River Sammamish, and most dogs love jumping in and fetching tennis balls and sticks or dog paddling in the water. 
but Flower was water shy. She ran back and forth along the edge of the water, taking her responsibilities as a lifeguard seriously and making sure all dogs were safe in the water. Over the years, she mellowed. Her gait slowed, but she was still eager to go out and smell new smells and say hello to neighborhood dogs and their humans. Monday, last week, I was in India when I received the message. Flower had lain down and didn't get up. I jingled the keys in my pocket. I put on my shoes. I even yelled, Flower, time for a walk, in her general direction. Perhaps she couldn't hear me across 7,700 miles between Mumbai and Seattle. Maybe she just needed a nap. She never responded. So, what a sweet eulogy for a dog. Flower kind of reminds me of Annie. I think she was a good bit older than Annie is now, from 2003 to 2019. That is uh, about 16 years. Anyway, this again is from wordsmith.org. Uh, AWAD mail issue 863 with the eulogy for Flower the dog. I guess that's going to be all for today since I'm still waking up from my nap. Thank you so much for watching. Click that like button if you liked it and I'll see you next time.